Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to make a super duper easy inverted fishtail bracelet. So you will be needing two pencils and some little rubber bands of course and a clasp if you have one and then two regular rubber bands. And I organized mine um, into colors because I will be making a pattern. Now making it is super easy. You want to take your first rubber band and you're going to put it in your pencils in the form of an eight, just like a regular fishtail. And then you're going to take your second rubber band, place that on there normally, and then you're going to take your third rubber band and slip that on normally as well. Take the first one and wrap it around the two, just like a regular fishtail. Okay, so now we're going to put in another rubber band, and right now I'm taking the blue one, stretching it out, and then I'm taking the bottom pink one and bringing that through onto the top. Okay, so once again, I'm pulling the blue one and then looping the light pink over everything else. So you should get something looking like that. So the process is actually super simple. All you have to do is take a new rubber band and then pull your second rubber band outwards and bring the bottom one over everything else. Okay, so you just have to make sure you have your rubber bands organized. And it should be pretty simple. At this point, you really can't see the inverted fishtail braid start to take place. Um, but if you do already understand this process, you can go ahead and skip ahead a couple minutes to see um, fully how it looks like. Um, but if you don't, for the next few minutes or so, I'll just be repeating this process so you can just continue watching. Now that I have my desired length, so just check to make sure it is long enough and what you want. Now I'm going to be taking the rubber bands out. So we're going to take the first regular rubber band. You could also use the smaller ones, um, but if you don't have enough, you could use regular rubber bands. And you're going to do that same process with the larger rubber bands. If you have larger rubber bands, it might be a little tricky. Um, but nonetheless, it is doable. So that's just what I'm doing right here.
Okay, so now that both those are secured in, I can take them out. So just slide your pencils out and be a little careful because they might fall apart. Um, so we can take our regular rubber bands out. Once again, you want to be really careful and hold the ends of your bracelet. So to put the clasp in, I'm just going to stretch it and then stick it in and stretch it again and place it in. So you want to take the other end now, okay, and stretch that as well and slip your clasp in. Just make sure that it's nice and secure once again. So there you have it. It's complete and put all together. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.